Hi, I'm John with Johnny Corners. I'm going to show you the best, fastest, nicest way to do a trap door. Uh, we laid this on a, this is a mock uh, trap door that you'd find in normal houses. And we cut, uh, we cut around the, the perimeter through the trap door. And what we know how to do now is cut a little bit away from each side and then uh, so that they don't touch when you take it in and out. You don't want to get too far back, but you don't want to ever have the chance to touch. Okay, we got that. Now, this is a kit that I made, and they they come with four three-foot pieces, and I pre-cut them for the video purposes. But I took a chop saw and cut these one inch shorter than than the length here, and so I can drop them in there so they're a little short. But we'll have to take the door first here. Normally you'd have to stick something in there to get it up. You want to use something to protect the floor. So I'll use this bubble wrap here. Sometimes there's sharp stuff on the bottom and on the edges. Got it like that. The box comes some nails. These are regular nails for putting flat metal down. I use a, a concrete nail punch to tap them in there. And these are just silver uh, just silver nails for, you can find them at any flooring store. Put it on there so it's a little bit, a little bit short of each side. Okay, we got the got it nailed in, and we need to put the corners on, and I'll show you those in just a second. It comes with these corners, and that's why we didn't bother with the uh, mitering. The old way to do a trap door with this metal is to miter the corners, and it's really hard. You have to go in and out, uh, in and outside three or four times to get it right. Sometimes you mess up and you ruin a whole piece of metal. So I made these corners to go over the top and that makes it really strong and it looks nice and when you lift the trap door up the, the miters that would be way out here won't bend and your socks and whatever you run over it won't get caught by a sharp corner. kit is some screws and it might not be a good idea to use a, a screw gun 
because you can go too fast. But I'm going to try it here. I'm going to get them down sort of loose and then I'm going to tighten them up with a, just a screwdriver. Because the threads are so small and the wood's fairly soft. But it is kind of nice to use a drill gun. Takes a small bit. First one's a little tough to make sure you're getting it in the right spot. Okay, finished trap door. You can order these on a site called johnnycorners.com, J-O-N-N-Y Corners, and let's see how it looks when we drop it in. Now, when we lift it up, lift it by these corners, the other side should hold when you're, when you're picking it out, the customer won't holler at you for bent up corners in a week or two, you won't have to come back about 30 minutes less to do and uh, just looks nice forever. Thank you.